Hey, Ming Tsai here with Simply Ming. Today in the house, the father of fusion cuisine down from Toronto, Canada, Susuli, my great buddy of more than three decades. He's been rated by Food & Wine as a top 10 chef this millennium. He's top 50 restaurants in the entire world, and he's an Iron Chef Canada. Today, he's gonna be roasting some eggplant, putting on a polenta cake, and serving with a tuna XO. XO sauce is actually, you know, developed by a Hong Kong Cantonese chef. The chef felt that uh, XO is such a high premium status, right? So he decided to, uh, you know, use a name for this sauce. I'm gonna be taking another version of tuna, do a tataki, and serve it with a roasted eggplant caviar. Tataki is just a way of searing, just to get a little color. It's coming up right now on Simply Make. Seuss, good to have you here, brother. Thanks nice so to have you back. Me. It's been a while, man. I know. You look good. Thanks. There's an age. He's 192 <laughs> years old. Look at like, him. Like a Yoda show. <laughs> yeah, you're like Yoda, exactly. <laughs> As you know, we're going to start with a cocktail just to get us in the mood. I have sparkling water to chill down the glasses because you know bubbles help chill it quicker. So if you don't mind dumping those, I'll get this drink I started. I do not know that. You actually uh, make the glass uh, chill a little faster. Yep. Oh. I mean, the worst thing to do is make a great cocktail, <clears throat> chill it at 33 degrees, and put it in a 75 degree glass, right? You ruined it. So this cocktail's got a closing argument. It's a riff off off of something called Last Word, which is a prohibition drink developed in the 1920s at the DAC, the Detroit Athletic Club. So the only difference is we take mezcal and replace it with the gin. So it's a smoke, so one and a half ounce of mezcal. We do green chartreuse as well. This is a great botanical, one and a half ounces. You've so had truce, this before. It's like made by the monks. Yes, exactly. And it's like a herbal medicine. It is, it's like, like I don't know, 30 different herbs and spices. Um, then a little maraschino cherry as well. So does he have any sweetness on the maraschino? This, this does, yeah. Okay. So it's one and a half ounces of each. And then last but not least, one and a half ounces of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Mm -hmm. To right. balance the sweetness. To balance I could feeling the, uh, the flavor already. Herbalness and also a little bit of root right? from uh, you know, the maraschino with the sweetness and the floralness. Well, you tell me. You I, tell I, me. I can't wait to taste this, man. Okay. All right. I'm going to go straight up like this. All right. And again, it's so important to have a coupe glass so cold because it's all about nice and cold. And then, but I noticed you awesome. didn't shake for too long. No, you don't. You know what? Because once you go, at my opinion, after thirty, it starts waterizing. I just want to get it cold. I don't want to get it waterized. Right. So some beautiful mm -hmm. Luxardo cherries. Campe. Campe. To your health. Cheers. You can drink this all year round. Number one. <laughs> Good. Number Good. two is the balance because you don't lose any flavor identified of that three different kinds of liqueur. Nice. Beautiful. Yes. But I think we're eating eggplant. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sus, so what's the name of the dish? It's um, my version of uh, Hong Kong exo sauce with grilled polenta. Okay and also eggplant okay. and saute shrimp. Awesome, so you have some peppers here, right? Yes. Some, some Anaheim's looks like? Yeah. Char so, them just to get the skin off. Yeah, what I, yeah, just throw on the stove or barbecue. Okay. And after that, you know, the okay. best thing to, uh, take them. to actually use the next day, if you put it into a container or in a bag, yep. you get the sweetness and the flavor and right. the juice and the smokiness. So this is before and this is after, obviously. All right, so just take the skin off? Yeah. Okay. So me, me, meanwhile, I'm going to start the polenta. Okay. What I did, uh, I soak in water. You pre-soak your polenta. How yes. long? Uh, I would say like 15, 20 minutes, just to open up the bit. And does it matter how much water? Uh, just enough to make it very moist. Okay, interesting. And also, you know, uh, while you're putting in hot water, it's really great. You won't get lumps uh, when it's already have water in. That's one of the tricks. I oh, interesting. So olive oil, hot water. Okay. And of course, a pinch of salt. So I just throw everything in in one shot, and then I keep stirring. Me, myself at home at the restaurant, you get, you get lumpy, lumpy polenta. Right. It just happens. So pre-soaking it. Cooking polenta, sometimes, you know, people thought, you know, when it gets thick, oh, it's ready. But actually, when it gets thick, that's where you're going to slow down the stove. Okay. Because you want to really slowly open up until they're really tender and soft. But meanwhile, I have uh, also Parmesan cheese. 
Okay. You, you add you, that now? You add no, that? not yet until okay. I'm fully cooked. But I'm going to prepare for that. I'm going to also use one egg yolk in my recipe. In the polenta? In the polenta. Oh, because you're, you're doing a cake, right? So you're going to lay this on a sheet tray? Right. And then got also it, it, uh, it. by the time and I cook it, it give a very nice, rich, golden brown. Got so it. peppers, I want it to be shredded. Shredded? Yeah, almost like, like a strips? baby fingernail strips. Yeah. Strips. Polenta, I'm still, you know, cooking. You can see, you know, they open up very fast. I mean, you see? Yeah, that's amazing. Right? I love that trick. But this is still going to take 20 minutes plus, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So okay. you need it to, uh, you know, open up slowly. It's very, you need patient, you know? Something right. like that, you want to be very, you like, know, soft. We're patient. Hey, nice what are you going to do with this eggplant? Okay. Show me, eggplant, show me the cut. Yeah. And we're going to take this. I just want to uh, just peel off just a little bit on the top. Now, purposely, I want to use, uh, you know, uh, Asian eggplant. Right. And I think, uh, you know, it cook a little bit, uh, I would use the word a little faster because the water content is quite high. Okay. So I'm going to cut this right here. Right. And I just want to split it right in half. For presentation, I always try right. to, you know, shave it off a little bit. Just give a little bit of greenness. I love that, because most people, myself included, would just take just, off the end. Right. right. But you... So I'm going to score it open like fan. You want to do that like, yeah. you okay. know, like carts. So anyway, you know what, so we're going to take a quick break because this takes 20 minutes yeah. and then you're going to lay it on a sheet tray, right? Right. But then before that, you add the egg and the Parmesan. Right. The tray, we got to put a little bit of oil, on the oil, and chill it. Perfect. It All right, stick around, 20 minutes. Don't 20 go. minutes, yes. All right, so 20 minutes looks nice. pretty good. Yeah, nice and thick. So now you add this stuff? Consistency is great. Yeah. Cheese? Cheese. Yes. Okay. Parmesan cheese. Uh, if you want to use feta, it's also nice. One egg? One egg, yes. Okay. Yeah. And grate me some nutmeg. I love nutmeg. People don't use it enough. Keep going? Yeah. That's great. Perfect, me. Okay. So, there we go. Oil the pan. The pan, uh, a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. And you just uh, go straight. Straight into the fridge? Straight to the fish. Okay. Can you bang a little bit? Nice yeah. and straight. Yeah, I'll do that right here. There you go. Cool. All right. So, Good. next thing, we're going to blanch some uh, cherry tomatoes. How long does that take in the fridge, Sus? I would say uh, at least a couple of hours. Yeah. That's exactly what we have here, Sus. Looks beautiful. So, this is two hours. Yeah. So, we're going to cut it into a form. Wow. Well, I'm going to make that into a shape. I'm going to pan okay. fry these and cook in the oven at the same okay. time. So, you know, can, can you blanch a little bit of cherry tomatoes? Check. So, the little trick is cut the top a little bit so easy to peel the skin off. You okay. don't have to score it. Yeah, the old, in yeah. France, it teaches a score, yeah, but you just, you don't this need is just easier, yeah, just, more efficient. Yeah. So, is that enough? There you go. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Give a little, you know, calm one to, uh, yeah, cherry tomatoes. All right, that's really quick. Yeah. That's 30 seconds, 30 right? 30 seconds, chill nice it out. So those will peel. Yeah. So, all right. You know, just, uh, just give a little squeeze and it'll come out very nicely. Just give it. All right, Suze, so let's see how you did here. Oh. Nice. How <laughs> pialyanga. That's Chinese for really beautiful. So we're gonna make it into a strip. So it's what I do with all these perfectly yeah. sliced peppers. So put in uh, the tomato uh, puree. puree. Okay. And uh, can you start to make the exo sauce? Yep. Uh, you start with shallot, garlic, ginger. Okay. What about these Thai birds? And also goes together with it. Yeah, just one, two. I think one is more than one enough. with the yeah. seeds. Yeah. If you decided not to use Thai bird chili, that's also fine too. Right. So meanwhile, I'm just going to cook with. Uh, you know, the roasted polenta. Awesome. And now, you, want, you want olive oil for the XO? Right. Okay. And I'm sure you want to Stay understand wet. why uh, a little bit more. What is XO sauce, right? Yeah, a lot of what people is it? Would have. I know, but please yeah. tell. Is that enough shallot sauce? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Start the heat yeah, going. What is, what is XO sauce? XO sauce is actually, you know, developed by a Hong Kong Cantonese chef, yep. a Chinese chef. Because uh, XO, uh, of course, uh, you know, the alcohol. X right, which and is a pork. cognac, right? There's VS, VSOP, then XO is the second to the highest rated cognac army yet, XO. Right. right, so you know what? Uh, the chef felt that uh, XO is such a high premium uh, status. Right. So he decided to, uh, you know, use a name for this sauce, but it's nothing to do we going? with anything with do with XO. There's no XO. In so you don't flip it? No, no, I don't flip it. I'm just going to roast it on okay. one side. All right, so that's 350 yeah. degrees. How long do you go for? I would say about maybe about uh, eight minutes. Okay. And then I put a little bit of salt in the eggplant. Awesome. And meanwhile, uh, you know this is sauteed very nicely. With some grated ginger. A little right? bit of grated ginger. Okay. Why 
Why do you grate your ginger, not mince? Well, because uh, you know when ginger get to a certain time of uh, year, sometimes it get very fibrous. Yeah. That is perfect. Yeah. I mean, to his point, you see all those fibers, those hairs. That's what you're talking this about. This is right? one of the best inventions. Oh, the rasps are awesome, yeah. right? So okay. we need to change the culinary scene. So peppers, uh, you can start uh, getting the peppers. Uh, let's get it a little bit soft, a little bit first. Yeah. And then what I have is tomato puree yeah. and also uh, you know the, the so canned uh, tomatoes that you just pureed? No, I use fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes, fresh puree. tomatoes okay. yeah. And I add a little bit of tomato paste. Just give oh, you it a do? little yeah, okay. it give a little bit of thickness. Got it. So put it in. Just start to stir it up. All the peppers. It smells so good here. Here's your tuna for your XO. So tell me about what tuna do you use when you for well, your XO sauce? Tuna, I, I love to use the uh, the European um, oily tuna. Right. Call. So like because Spain, Spanish, Italian, all of them. Yeah. Got it. So meanwhile, you can see the uh, you know the color comes out. Oh yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. And just put a little bit of salt. And Sus, so you have some shrimp here. This is yeah. this we, is the secret protein for the dish. We're going to saute it and put it right on the top. Okay. Use the same salt thing, a little bit of salt, a little pepper, and also a little bit of uh, you know. Um, a little bit of garlic in there too. With the shrimp, cool. With the shrimp, yeah. Okay. All right. And saute in olive oil? With Canola. olive oil, yes. Okay. And then I put tuna. How long is those eggplant gonna take in the oven? I would say right. another maybe, what, three minutes? Okay, so get yeah. the shrimp going, right? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got about three minutes, guys. We got the XO going, we got the shrimp sauteing, got polenta and eggplant in the oven. Three minutes, we're gonna plate this dish up. Then we're gonna make a salad on the top. Oh, the salad too, why not? Try this meat. This looks so good, dude. Oh, God. You can eat this cold. <laughs> you can eat, cold pasta. You can eat it with nothing else. Mm. <laughs> dude, that is so good. Yeah. All right, let's finish this dish. What's, what's your vinaigrette? Well, you want to make me a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of okay. sess too. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sess. And put the soy sauce in. Okay. Olive oil? Yeah. Olive oil. A little juice. A little bit of juice. That's great. Put the cherry tomatoes in. Okay. These are nice and peeled. Concasse. Mm -hmm. Those are off. And after that, can you chop me the herbs for the shrimps? Check. A little Thai basil, a little chopped herbs. And then... What do you I'm want? Chiffonade start. on this? Chiffonade, both of them. Okay. And then I'm going to start taking. So that's been what? About 15 minutes? Maybe? I would say... In, uh, both I would say 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right, Suze, that looks yeah. good. So, oh, look at that color. So that's why you sear it first and throw it into the oven, right? Because you want it cooked all the way through and hot. Yeah, so they're nice and soft, one side and crispy the other side. So I don't flip it, that's one of the reason. Then I'm going to put um, the EXO tuna sauce right on the top. So good. You know, this, this sauce is so great, you know, even eating with toast, you know, keeping in the fridge. So, can I have some of these herbs? Chopped chives, basil chiffonade. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. So, so, this is like the American favorite, avocado toast, but so much better. <laughs> so, we put a um, little eggplant right on the bottom. Ah, so pretty. So, can you line up a few shrimp on the top? Yeah. You want the same way? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uga, so over there, you don't want siga. I'm saying in Chinese you need five, not four, because yeah. four is death in Chinese too, right? So, so a little eggplant on the top. Oh my God. Then we're just going to make a little salad, okay. put it on the top. So dump this in here. Mm -hmm. a little toss. Yeah. Little chops at you. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Nice. So, with a little, we can use this. So I'm just going to use, you want to put the cherry tomatoes, four pieces? Yeah. Just on the plate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is such a pretty dish, Suze. That's why you're the master of fusion. Four? Five? Yeah, this is good. I'm doing five, Suze, mm -hmm. sorry. Oh my god. So. That is a beautiful dish. Wait, go ahead. Oh, you're not done. Oh, just of course it's not done. A little, done. Bit, <laughs> little bit of olive oil. I'll yeah, just a little bit. Done. Can you squeeze a little fresh lemon juice on it? Yes, just squeeze it right on the top. That's what I call it done. <sighs> That's it? So simple. All right, stick around. We got one more dish. It's got eggplant. That's all I know.
Seuss. That dish looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this. Thank you. All right, so listen. What do you make? What I have here? You've done this before. This is coriander seeds, right? Uh -huh. So just smashing it up. I like the, the way you use a pan to grind it out. It's right. so old school. It is old school. So what we're going to do, I want you to do some chopped chives, mm -hmm. chai batons, mm -hmm. and then sliced scallion greens. Oh, that's I'm going to break down this tuna. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a tuna tataki, coriander and togarashi crusted with an eggplant caviar and curry oil. Wow, that's right. like the Middle East East kind yeah, of it dish, is. right? And you, because you did tuna, a different tuna, obviously, uh -huh. um, I'm just going to square this off, make a nice kind of finger. This is, this, by the way, you're not throwing any of this tuna away, right? This is perfectly delicious tuna. I just wanted a nice piece that ideally didn't have any sinew. So, right. so I do the cooked tuna. You did the sort of like a rare kind of tuna. Is it what it is? Yeah, this is tataki. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to sear it really rare. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do is on the cutting board, salt. So tuna, would you would you say like any, when, any favorite part of the tuna you use on this uh, recipe? So this is the this is the what we call center cut of the loin. So center this cut. is the top loin of the loin. Right. So, so you're taking all these kind so of. I took the this sinew off. Right. Yeah, right. So that's a little togarashi, and this is the coriander seed. All right. So with the salt, togarashi, mix that all up on the board. I can smell the coriander seed. Is yeah, right? Isn't that great? Yeah. And then we're just going to roll our tuna mm -hmm. in this salt, togarashi, coriander. Like turning like a crust, you're saying. Exactly. Crust with flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then in this same pan that we had the coriander, we're just going to saute a little bit of shallots and garlic. Because what we're going to do, like you, I'm going to roast some eggplant in the oven. Uh -huh. but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to have big eggplant, not the Chinese eggplant you had. Mm -hmm. And we're going to cook it all the way through. What makes you decide to use uh, the uh, European style eggplant? You know, because I'm doing an eggplant caviar, which is a which oh, is yes. a puree. So I just wanted right. more meat. Right. So I'm just sautéing a little bit of uh, garlic and shallot just to get the rawness out. And then in this pan, we're going to go ahead and get the tataki going. I got some uh, preparation for you ready here, Ming. All right, do me a favor. Slice mm -hmm. the eggplant in half. Uh huh. And so then, you don't need the top, obviously. Yeah, top off, mm -hmm. slice in half, and right. then you're just going to salt, pepper, olive oil, please. Mm -hmm. And here's your olive oil, sir. So just on yeah, mm -hmm. that on the pan. That can go um, into the oven. And it, this will take um, this will take about 30 minutes mm -hmm. in a 375 degree oven. 375. Okay. So this pan I want <laughs> screeching hot. So here we're going to use canola oil. Olive oil has a much lower smoking temperature, so it'll burn. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that. So the eggplant, do you want me to poke some holes or you just leave it the way? No, it just is? like just that. Just like that. Yep. Because mm -hmm. I want it to. All right, so there, salt. Do you put pepper? Yeah. Can you put some pepper? So 375 for 20 minutes? For 30 minutes. 30 yeah. minutes. Here, go in there, brother. Mm -hmm. And this, after 30 minutes. Oh, now I can see look. it. Look. Yeah, nice. Look what this looks like, guys. Right? That's why I wanted it. Mm -hmm whole and it gets nice and soft, super soft. Oh, so it's here, nice and soft. super hot pan, literally 30 seconds aside, mm -hmm. right? The tuna is going to be raw in the middle and still right. cool. The taki is just a way of searing just to get a little color. All right, that's all we're looking for, guys. Just that so you little... sear it like one side, how many seconds? Ah, you 30 seconds. 30 seconds, right? Literally, and then the key is you want to just let it rest for a few minutes before you sear it, uh -huh. uh, before you slice it up. This is for your eggplant caviar? That's, yeah. I can see the coconuts yes, right? around the ring. So too. that's good. Uh, I really like the uh, fact all... it doesn't stick uh, because of the crust right. you create uh, sort of like a skin. All right. <laughs> yeah, take that top off for me. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so now we're going to take our... Yeah, thank you. We're going to take this eggplant, and we're going to... Sc I'm going to scoop... I can scoop it here on the tray first. You see mm -hmm. how soft that is? Yeah. We get all that meat. Let me do this. Let me do the other piece. Okay. Yeah. I got it, Seuss. I got it. Here, dump mm -hmm. it in the dump it in yeah. the blender for me, though. Mm -hmm. Really hot. You have to use this hot, guys, because at the very end, we're going to monte au beurre, which is a little bit of butter to bring this all together. Oh, use butter on this. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have this. Fantastic. All right. So here's saute. Just a good heaping tablespoon of that. That's all we need there. Yeah, we'll do that when we get it blended first. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to get it going first, cover. This is an industrial baby.
Now, a little bit of butter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little more salt. We get it very creamy. That's it. Yeah, this is this is like an eggplant caviar uh -huh. sauce, if you would. Right? Mm. See that? It is. It's almost like an eggplant tahini kind of. Uh, yeah, I think buttery. that's right. I think tahini is a good, a good classic word for that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I tell you what, Sus. Do a little taste. Yeah, please. We're gonna let this tuna rest. It needs to rest about ten minutes before mm -hmm. you slice it. And when we come back, we're gonna plate this up with some mm -hmm. eggplant caviar. Pretty good. It tastes really nice. It's not with quite butter. done. Yeah. Ten minutes. Stick around. All right, Seuss. So, please add some of your chopped chives mm -hmm. and your sliced green scallions. I'm gonna add just, you know, eggplant's a little bitter, and add just a touch of honey. What like about that. the chop? Uh, no, that's no, garnish. Not. All right. Okay, a little bit of green onions. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Enough? A little bit more? Give that a mix for me, Seuss. Mm -hmm. All right, here's our beautiful tuna. Ah, beautiful. All right. How many people? You're hungry, right, Suze? Mm-hmm. We'll go, ba. Okay, let's plate this up, Suze. Let's do it right here. So we're gonna take our eggplant caviar. So simple, right? I and mean, this really was not a hard dish at all. Yeah, very little step, but the results look really good. Did you say you add some honey in there? I did, just a I'll touch give of honey. A sweetness. Just a little bit. Just like this. So a good little hors d'oeuvre maybe. Good appetizer. And the other thing that we made for this that I love is curry oil. So that's what I have right here, Suze. Mm -hmm. We take Madras curry powder uh -huh. in a dry saute pan. We just heat it till it's smoking. Right. We add canola or grapefruit oil, mix it up, put it into a tall container, let it sit, and it separates. Oh, I see. And so what you like have left is this beautiful curry oil. Right. Look how pretty this is. So basically, you're roasting the seed and the spices. Yeah, and this for the powder. But look at this great color mm -hmm. this curry oil has. Just on the tuna, on the eggplant, mm. like that. And some perfectly cut chive de batons. Let's eat. Wow. Boom. That's awesome. Here we go. Tuna time. So, Cheers, me. To you. Cheers. A little Savignon Blanc from New Zealand. Thank you. Sante. Dude, I cannot wait. Give me some of your dish, yeah, please. Let me. Yeah, I'll put my plate right next to you. I will serve you some of mine as well. Eggplant caviar, excuse me, uh -huh. tuna, okay. All right, give you a little bit more eggplant, voila, awesome. Yeah. You need a little garnish. Yes, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mm. This looks so good, dude. This is good. This is East West, chopsticks and fork. You know, it's so nice, uh, you know, when I come on your show, I always learn something. Dude, this is amazing. Mm. Your tuna XO, I'm serious, guys, this is unbelievable. Room temperature tastes amazing. Right, the tuna? With the eggplant caviar. Yeah, I don't mind. You know, the, oil, um, the curry oil really gives the last kind of finish. Right. Dude, your dish, Spit. The, the XO is ridiculous. Oh, well, thank you. You can eat nothing but the XO, but the polenta, two textures, crispy and soft. Love that, right? And shrimp perfectly cooked. Thank you. You're absolutely the best. Yes. Such a talented chef. And that is a beautiful dish, man. Thank you. Yours as well. Thank Cheers. you so much, dude. And all you out there, as always, thank you. Peace and good eat. Cheers. Cheers.